Okay, welcome back everyone to another episode of Sovereignty of Scotland, where that is being threatened right now by the possibility of an English invasion. Um, and basically, I can't really stop it again. I'm at the whims of the people again. And there's really not much I can really do, except just watch my land get, you know, taken over. And watch as the AI is being so stupid right now. They have two armies right here that could easily go defeat these guys. And go conquer back the land, but they're choosing not to. They have three armies. So, I'm basically being a little bit angry because basically, uh, uh, this could actually end in me actually losing this war because of these kind of events. I'm also gonna go take over these guys just to make sure the British know that we're angry at them. There we go. Yeah. Take that, England. Hmm. They actually, wow, they actually got a decent colony started, too. Okay, so. Yeah, we're just going to casually sit here in the new world, just kind of building up our own power. Um. It's very slow building, I'm not going to deny that, but it's the best we can do. Um, because we can't get anywhere close to over here. France is somehow helping us over here in England, which is good. Okay, we have to really hope. That we don't get the 10% war score. Because if we get 10% war score, we're doomed. Guys, why Austria, you know, send in men to go stop invasion? I feel like the AI wants me to fail here. And it really is, you know, doing all this on purpose. Like, everything they're doing right now is just to make me more mad. Because I feel like they could honestly do a lot more things effectively. But they're not. Lothuanian just got sieged up, you know, and the more and more we get closer and closer away from this, the more and more there's a chance that they could actually give my provinces away, which is exactly what I'm thinking that could happen, is that the French could give my provinces away and end the war that way, but they're pretty much still happy about the war. I mean, they're not the ones being sieged up, and I'm pretty sure they're pretty happy to be in this war right now, which is good, which is good, all right. We're going to build a couple of uh, flutes so that we can maybe transport a little bit more of our troops. And the spread of reformation. Well, at this point, I don't really care. It seems like I'm not. Yeah, it just seems like I'm not going to be able to convert my provinces. So I'm just going to take back this mission. Just take it back. Just, I, 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 I'm just going to give up on that mission. And... We'll just deal with it in a couple years. And let's see, we got our colonial... The only thing good right now is happening for us is that we have a lot of good colonies. And even with the maximum amount of them sieging up every single one of my provinces, they still don't have enough war score to quite be able to... to quite be able to overturn all the stuff we've done to them. Which is good. It means we still got a good enough amount of army that we can still do stuff. Plus, we just won back some of our battles over here. Which means Austria is going to recede back some of the land, which is actually going to give them less war score again. Which means we're still going to be fine for this war. Which I'm seriously hoping I can get out of this war without the sickness of the king. James, uh, James uh, can we handle all aspects of ruling Scotland for the time being, or shall we handle this? Ooh, okay. I don't want a Regency Council. More power to the nobles. Or trade efficiency. Uh, powerful nobles. Let's get the... Oh, powerful nobles, maybe? I don't know, I'm kind of scared now. I don't want King James V the fifth to die and leave Walter in charge. That means you don't get war for like a couple of years. Oh, that'd be terrible. Don't leave Walter in charge, he's too young. He's way too young to be king. Trust me, James V, you have to live. You have to live. You must live. By the way, apparently Regency Council in France. Probably not disputed claims though. Yeah, because France is really powerful and they have great ways of making babies. So, yeah, I expected that much. Let's see, we could also technically, if we wanted to, like get an upgrade to our ideals. Recruitment time by a little. That also gives our ships, uh, let's do that. It also gives our ships a little bit less. That means it, that means we're slightly richer people, which is what we need in our world. We need slightly richer, a slightly richer, like, experiments. Alright. 
And let's see, we're gonna build our first ships over here in the new world. Uh, Scottish over here. Uh, five, negative four. Okay, and they're about to go unseat this too, which is gonna probably bring down to negative three, which is what I'm hoping. And negative three, that basically ah, don't let them get to don't let them get to the, the Western Isles. Okay, they almost basically sieged up all my land over there. I have no more land I can be sieged up. The British are basically sitting pretty over there in Scotland and being like, ha ha ha, we totally have everything you guys have. Okay, and Austria's officially seized up everything, so that means basically I'm gonna have to wait and hope that these guys are able to go and crush these guys. Also, wow, you already have force marching Britain, uh, not Britain, France. Wow, they're quick. Colonize Puerto Rico. Uh, create an army for our nation. I would love to do all those things. Sadly, we are very, we are very destroyed right now. And let's see. Um. Oh wow. And this is a cool cheat. So apparently, apparently, like, these colonies are still growing, even though it's England's, you know, colonies. So, hypothetically speaking, we could just, like, sit here, you know, wait until these guys are really big, and then just come back, steal them for ourselves. In fact, we could just steal them for ourselves right now, and then come back later. You know, make sure they have no land access through here. Just take Nova Scotia for ourselves. And start our own colony. I like that idea. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna deny. I'm definitely thinking. You know what? I can't really do much about the religious. If people are going to revolt, they better revolt over there. If Scottish peasants rise up, please don't rise up in the one province I don't need you to rise up. Rise up in all the provinces over there in the new world. I mean, old world. Because right now we're chilling. All the leaders of Scotland are chilling out in the new world. Cause we like being in a new world. It's all cozy and nice over here. Yes! Alright. So, we just took that province. The Cape. And let us see. Um, we could go for this. And we have a lot of land, actually. So, um, yeah, we're just going to casually like build a Petrello. And maybe some actual infantry or some cavalry so we can actually get some actual arms up in here um, Yeah, I'll, we shouldn't go bankrupt because of that and We should probably start colonizing still more land. I'll colonize Mim Mimpac as I was <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine a lot of people right now want to flee our country after uh, You know honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point because basically our entire land's been conquered so it's kind of like, yeah, and the war goal has not been entirely reached. I'm hoping that they can fight a little bit more battles, but they don't, honestly, the AI does not seem willing to go and fight the war. Actually, they just seem willing to just sit here and let the war continue, which is eventually going to give us bad war score, and it's eventually going to turn me into, you know, defeated, because now these guys want out, and the French want out. But the French aren't going to be willing to do it because right now we just have just enough low war score for them not to be able to do it. But, yeah. I'm probably going to give up land now. Probably going to give up land just because of the t just because of how much time it's taken. Hopefully, maybe this Brandenburgian army will come in here, go get squashed by the French and give us some more war score. And, let's see. This is what I meant. Wow. When did you guys do this? You guys are awesome, Austria. You guys are keeping me alive right now. Um, yes, do exactly what you guys are doing right there. Um, hopefully they don't have a big enough army to counteract you. Uh, oh yeah, that, that that was a bad move, Brandenburg. Even I knew that one. Yes. Okay. And with those battles, we just recently were able to keep ourselves alive again. I mean, we're, we're teetering. We're teetering on. Oh shoot. And with our glorious expansion ends, okay, well, New Brunswick is right over here, and we have our good friends, the Scottish right now, being the Scottish selves and basically taking over whatever freedom and, or, uh, I mean, Scots, not the Scottish, the Denmark, took away the last little bit of stuff we could have in the world. Um, 
I'm guessing going directly for my colony. There's not much I can really do about it. And these two places just died. England just probably had a major economic crisis and just uh, died. So that's cool. Let's see if we can maybe go get these guys over here. Um, kick this guy. Yeah, kick this guy out. He's just not good enough for right now. Um, go right here. Go explore this land. While we're kind of thinking about it. So that we can start linking up our land. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get that colony back anytime soon. Um, and send our guy over here. Do I still have to pay for that colony? Because if it still grows in the amount of time that we do this. Like the glitch was. I'm pretty sure that's how the glitch works right now. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, 14 again. Um, low. Medium, medium. Lost. Ooh, that was a Cape of Holland, Cape of Brittany. Ugh, these battles. The battles are not going exactly in according to plan. Um, France, I don't know why the, the, the Austrians retreated. They had a good amount of men there sieging up the provinces, and now they're gone. So, that's good. And, let us see. All right. Do you guys ally with anyone? Because I'd just love to just declare war on like the Hansa and just have everyone just swarm them. Sadly, that also ties in everyone else too. So, yeah. Not exactly good things all around. Let's see though. 20. That means they get about 19 war score in total out of this war. And then they basically can't get anything else because war score won't work anymore. Which is good. There's the one thing. Wait, wait. This war is futile. Brandenburg, my king accepted peace, white peace, that's good, I guess. Um, if they could get England to accept white peace, that would probably give us the most amount of, like, yes, ever. Because if England accept white's peace, then we basically ended the war because, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Hmm. Well... That province is definitely going to be not theirs in a couple years. Um, you know why? Because that's both Catholic and that's Scottish. They have both none of those accepted cultures and there's no way in heck am I going to let them through my land. Also, I'm probably supporting both of those um, uh, colonies right now. Am I correct? Yes, I am. So... I'm going to abandon this colony, and we're just going to focus in on that colony, and we're going to be glad that we're still alive right now. Somehow in the new world, but we're still alive. And Scandinavia is now one of my mortal enemies. I mean, they've officially crossed the line of being just, you know, enemies, and now they're mortal enemies. And we're going to bring back some of our troops that have been exiled for years back home to the Scotland lands and let's see um this is 9.0 okay we're just gonna do it because they can't really do anything to attack me Scottish Patriots uh let's see how much can I support oh I can support so much okay 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 we gotta do this we gotta support this support rebels maximum we're gonna get these guys to revolt okay 13%, even if they crush it out, we're still going to be able to do it. Um, the Battle of Inu, we won, which is good. And yeah, everyone, let's see, how much did our force limit go down? We went down by two. But at least, again, at least we're still alive. You know, that was a very close call. We could have been eradicated right there. But this whole, like... You know, Scandinavia thing is really not paying out for us because we have a very powerful Scandinavia-like enemy. Um, you know, I wasn't going to do this, but I think we honestly need to declare war on Oldenburg to claim some, like, territory back here so we have some reassurance that we can start expanding into stuff. It's not exactly my ideal situation. I didn't want to do that, but it's the only way we're going to be able to do it. Um, we can also get declare war on Get again. So that we can then have make sure that these guys are right next to here and go do a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things we could do. 
Now that our troops are no longer exiled to the lands of, you know, America, we can finally start doing stuff and let's start decreasing our war exhaustion first off. We have two reform now in our country, which is going to be nice to deal with. Um, let's see, to build this army up though, we're going to need two, two of these guys and like one, two, two of those guys apparently. Okay, we're going to build up our armies again, make sure we have a good, decent army. Um, 13.1, come on. Now, if they just get the Catholic, they just need the, they just need the Catholic rebels to revolt. If we can start supporting, get as much support as we can for the rebels, that'd be really nice. Um, hopefully they don't court. That's the one thing we hope they don't do. If they don't court, we could still have a chance to go take them out. I mean, our people are definitely not going to like it that we, they were taking over. I mean, seriously, they would not like it. And let's see, global colonizational rates. We're going to need to get that, so I'm going to quickly recall this colony. And we're going to go establish a quick colony in, like, the Caribbean. Not because we're actually going to keep it, mind you. But just because we want to make sure that we have that colonial, 25% colonial enthusiasm. Because that, that bonus helps you out a lot. It helps you grow your colony so much. If we have that, we'll definitely be able to grow a little bit more. Now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, there we go. There we go. And let's see, let's recall this. And let's recall this. Abandon this colony so that we don't have to deal with that. Send the colony back over here. Go send our two horsemen units over here. Um, actually, we could probably go send these. Actually, we just 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 delete them. We don't need them right now. That was I completely forgot I created two more horsemen units. But dang, that kind of stinks. Army officers retiring. And let's see, we have our army kind of good. Um, we need five more. How do we get this up? So, like, one, one more of these. Let's see, how's our money doing? We're doing fine in money. Yeah, you know what? This is actually fine. If We can still come back from this just because Novgorod. Oh, okay. What we gotta do is we gotta get... Oh, I know what we gotta do, guys. We gotta get a war between Scandinavia and Ukraine going. If we could get Scandinavia tied up next time with, like, a war with like Ukraine oh man I mean with Russia oh man that could actually save us so much time uh, press issue doesn't really matter because they are only there are enemies no matter what we do so if they hate us I don't really care because honestly doesn't really matter me okay and let us see your claims on the province at least now we have a jurisdiction to attack them again and Let's see. Do I have enough three? I'm gonna build like two more, two more infantry. That's thirteen. No, that's like that's like that's like thirteen. Now that is thirteen. And I got me my subsidies are now canceled again because France is like, nope, no more, no more. You guys are too expensive. So now my army is now too much, and now I need to start making other money so that I can start supporting myself again. Hmm. Yay! And good events are happening over there in America. Good job, guys. You're not killing me over there in the colonies, which is good. Because that's what we don't need. But at least you guys are growing to a pretty good size. And so, let's just group all you guys up. And let's just see. Our nation... Oh, they discovered us? Oh, sorry. I'm so, I'm so scared. You guys will be so mad. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to go back to right doing it right up again. Because I'm waiting until these guys revolt. Once these guys revolt, then I'll be really happy. But yeah, you know, I'm going to make sure this is at 12% at least. So that these guys are just, they just constantly hate you. And since you guys are at war, this is like the perfect time to like, be like hating on Scandinavia. Because like you guys are at war. And you guys are, you know, you know, scatterbrained and all this kind of stuff. 
This is the perfect time for me to do stuff. Also solidify paper relationships. We can do that again. Uh, actually, is it possible I can ever get an alliance with you guys or... Uh, nope. It isn't. So I'm just going for my final turn. Go get some paper relationships. Actually, I'll just wait a couple turns. Just wait a couple days. Do, do, do. Uh, there we go. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We are losing ground pretty rapidly, but as long as we're still gaining something over here in America, I think we still got a chance in this Let's Play. So, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.